Welcome to Ritchie Navigation's Ready to Boat experience. You are about to set out on a fishing expedition. On this trip, you will have access to essential navigation tools. You will experience firsthand how important it is to be prepared for any situation that can occur when you're out on the water. By squeezing the trigger buttons with your index fingers, you can grab or interact with objects on the console. Start by grabbing the steering wheel. Grab the throttle and push it to go forward. Put it in neutral to stop moving. Your Ritchie compass shows you the direction you are heading in real time, using only the Earth's magnetic field. The compass is the only instrument that provides actual heading. Having a properly sized and properly installed compass is as important as any other equipment on your boat. The GPS is a digital tool that uses satellite data to tell you your current location and where you've been. It estimates the direction you are heading using that information. It is important to note that wind, tide, current, waves, signal lag, and the speed of the boat all affect your heading in ways that GPS can't account for. Finally, the radio. The radio is your lifeline. Throughout the experience, you will receive directions from the radio. You can use the radio to call for help if you get stuck at any point. But for now, let's begin by leaving the dock and heading out on our trip. Hey, I heard there's a great fishing spot not too far from here. I'll check back in when you get out of the channel. Be careful, it's a sharp turn to the right. Remember to keep the green buoys on your right as you head out to the open water. Notice the difference between compass heading and GPS heading? That's because when you were turning, or when you were moving slowly, like in this no-wake zone, the GPS's heading readout is compromised, because it can only estimate the direction you were moving in based on where you've been. But a magnetic compass will always show real-time heading, no matter what speed you're going. It doesn't need to wait for signals from a satellite. That's why you should always steer according to your compass heading. In fact, the trickier the situation is, the more inaccurate GPS is, because speeds are usually slower and currents stronger. When you reach the lighthouse, find a heading of 270 degrees. You'll run right into the best fishing in the bay in a couple miles.
finally. What took you so long? The fishing's great. Find a spot and throw your anchor. Great. Just our luck today. Looks like there's some storms popping up and a front is passing through. We're better off looking for shelter now. Follow me. This is not good. Make sure your lights are on. Go slowly and sound your horn so other boats can hear you approaching. I'm going to shelter here until this passes. Plug these coordinates into your GPS. AE1420-5690. That's where I'm headed. Your GPS should tell you the correct heading to steer to, but remember, steer that heading with your compass and not your GPS. You'll be chasing it and swerving all over the place at this speed in these conditions. That can be dangerous, especially in this fog. Are you kidding me? Now the GPS isn't working? There must be a problem with the signal. Stay calm, we'll be just fine with just your compass. You should head back the way you came until you can see the coast. Do you remember your reciprocal heading? 270 degrees minus 180 degrees. So 90 degrees should get you headed right back to the lighthouse. I'm glad you made it back safely. It goes to show that a lot can happen out there that you need to be ready for. Next time you will be. This concludes the Ritchie Navigation Experience. Thank you for joining us. Our mission is to make sure that you have the situational awareness and technical skills you need to enjoy your time on the water with confidence and safety. You must be prepared for anything. And although compasses are not high tech, having a well-sized, properly installed compass is as valuable as any tool on your boat. To review, a compass is the only heading device you have, but it is not a standalone navigation tool. It is powered by Earth's magnetic field, and it is the only tool that can provide actual heading in real time. A GPS is a positioning device. It cannot provide heading because it uses satellite data to show you where you are and where you've been. It can only estimate your direction. It is a digital device that can fail. If you see a storm in the distance, you should seek shelter immediately. 
In low visibility conditions, you must turn your lights on and travel very slowly. Sound your horn every minute so that other boats know you are approaching. 